Hey guys, so um, this is Steven, or Stevie P, as you know, or Stefano, and um, I'm right now showing you how to create a terrain, more uh, woodsy terrain. So as you see, there's nothing here, just plain space, the main camera only sees blue, because there's only blue, nothing else, no ground, no sky, just blue, blue, blue. So I just created a terrain by hitting create where the main menu column is, or I mean main camera, the hierarchy column if you will, and um, click and create, or uh, terrain. So now I'm just trying to get a good angle of like the terrain which starts out as just a flat square plate if you will and it starts out as that but there's a lot of potential to the terrain because if you're making a woods game such as a slenderman or some kind of game you'll probably want to um, get a terrain if not you'll still want to get a terrain because the terrain is very fi vital to the whole game it's basically the ground so now I'm going to create my character here, which is pretty much where I can use to jump, see, look around, and all that stuff. Now I'll spawn in the middle of the axes, so I'll have to drag it up like I'm doing now, and it sees just gray and blue in the game. The gray is the uh, ground, and the blue is the sky. As you see, I'm not falling, I can look around, and all that stuff. So. Now, uh, I just have, like, sky, like, gray for my sky, and editing, and blue in my sky, for just playing the game. So, this is a dilemma. So, what I want to do, is I want to do my render settings. I just got, got into the edit, and went into render settings. On the side, it'll have a gear with render settings, and it'll basically show everything about the sky. I went into assets and I clicked on sunny. By the way, you'll have to import these assets. Uh, and as you see, when I put it into the skybox material column, it's all sunny now. And the skybox loaded in. It's all nice, it looks great, it looks way fuller. And that's what it should look feel like in a game. It looks more inviting to play. And it looks less robotic. Now, I'm going to work on the um, terrain itself for a bit, and I'm going to pick a more gravelly thing, but it's too big for my character, and it's way too um, effective. So I'm going to, you know, just lower the opacity, which is how much effect it is. Oh, wait, that's a little, still a little too much. So I'm going to um, go to erase. One sec. Erase, and I could just flatten it. Also, you could flatten, which erases your whole project except for the textures you painted on, and makes you start all over again. So you don't want to do that unless you think it's a total disaster of what you made. So I'm now going to just make a few bumps, maybe a few hills, and make it look nice. Um, as you see, the ground around me has more bumps looks more grown over, more natural, less robotic, less geometric, and it kind of makes it, you know, uh, look a little more like you're actually in the world instead of just on a flat plane in a video game. So, anyways, so, uh, let's make some walls, I just want to make, you know, a little gulch. just gonna make a gulch so that my player can't really go anywhere but you know just look around in the garden that he's trapped in. I'm just gonna make a woods you know do that stuff. Note that uh, note that it's just gray and the sky is good but the gray is it's just one big shadow there's no uh, light so I'm going to 
put on directional light from my hierarchy section and it's really light now you can actually see more depth but it's still too light so I'm gonna go in my X section on rotation and rotate it until it gets more shaded and it has more depth in the shadows that I'm making right now and as you see it uh, it looks more shadowy it looks like you can see more hills more bumps and you know all that kind of stuff so now I'm going to uh, work on my terrain a little more and uh, I'm just saying you can use different kinds of uh, layer layouts to look at how you're editing I use a default myself but um yeah so I'm going to just go back because I uh, because I uh, you know need to look at what I'm doing. Sorry if it's taking a little while. You know, I mean, whatever. So uh, blah blah. There we go. I got all set out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just you know make it a little bigger, make the walls a little. Uh, Escapable for my character, what, however you want to think about. It. And um, yeah, as you can see, I uh, use the right click of the mouse to summon the eye so that I could look around. Anyways, so if I go to the drop over the mountain button, I could smoothen out my uh, things. It will show some some decrease in size for the hills that you made but it will definitely smooth them out making it look less pointy, less low poly and a little more just um... just really uh... complex and makes you look like a really good gamer so I'm gonna put some textures in and note again you have to import these but I have to add some textures as you see um, the texture went on everything because I just have one texture and I'm going to put in some more textures. As you can see, you could always add another texture if you have another texture. It's very simple. It, it's very simple. Anyways, I'm playing a little more. How are you liking this video? Is it boring? Is it... Am I too quiet? Yeah. So, um... What I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, put in a snowy thing. I actually didn't use it for this video because I forgot. I wanted to make more of a Skyrim kind of garden, but whatever, you know. I'm going to add a texture, put it in, there I go, and I have it. I could give you, like, just comment if you want me to give you the addresses for these downloads in the comments below. Don't worry, they're all in Unity, so don't be skeptical skeptical about where I got them or how much money I had to pay. They're all free and very useful. So I'm making a little dirt trail out of where I'm trapped, and I'll explain later why I'm making a dirt trail. Well, I'll explain now. It's pretty much because, like, you always need a dr dirt trail. It just makes your character feel more safe. Now I'm putting a little like a pure dirt on the ground, you know, lightly clicking the ground with this uh, dirt, and pretty much I got my own woods. I uh, did everything I needed to do. I got the grass, I got the dirt, I got the trail. The road kind of gives your player a little peace of mind that he knows he's going the correct way. Of course, you could go any way you want, but for some reason players need a road to follow kind of like in Skyrim. So, anyways, what um, I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a tree, because I always need a tree, and uh, I'm going to put it right here. Now, like, I could always pre-order one, but I think I should show you how to make one yourself, in case you want to actually um, see how to be as res resourceful as you can in Unity. Uh, we're not going to do any lakes or 
streams in this one because it's really late and whatever. Probably I'm going to do a part two of it, but you know, like it's going to come. I'm also going to show you how to put down bushes and physical grass, but whatever. So you press a branch on the plus to make it like um make a new branch. It's way too long, so what I'm going to do is drag out these to make it look like it's its own little branch, and then I'm going to press this one. Well, wait. And then when I want to press the end of the branch, the tip, I will press that, and I'll press this, presto. And the next time I click it, it should lose the other part of the branch. Right. Meow. And meow. And there you go. I just lost a big portion of the branch. Now you could do this indefinitely, like an indefinite amount of times. It really doesn't matter to me what you do with your tree, it's what you feel is well. And I'm gonna just do it again. As you see, I'm gonna make this, all that, this, that, this, that. Like in this video, again, comment on um, what you don't like, maybe where you want to get all these other things, and yeah. Now, I'm gonna get a branch, uh, I'm gonna work on my branch a bit, the right one, I just press the I, now you can't see it, uh, but it's there. I don't know why they have that setting, but okay. And as you see, I could actually press it and put a branch on that branch, as you see in normal trees. And uh, I'm going to make it visible again, and the presto. And there you go, you have a branch on another branch. It's really simple. Now, this branch kind of looks unnatural, so I'm going to make it a little shorter, a little there, maybe a little connections, and then do that, this, and there we go, and there's a little branch on that, of course you can make another, but you know, it's really time consuming, and I really don't see like, how much you could get out of this, but anyways, so I'm going to put a leaf on there, and I just clicked the leaf with a plus, it's going to start out as a really, really big leaf, that's not looking like a leaf, but more square, so, what you want to do here, is you want to, sec, you want to, uh, make a lot of, uh, seeds, or whatever, or not, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But I'm gonna increase the frequency to the amount of things I want. There's a lot of leaves, it doesn't look real at all, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you what you should do. That's just increasing the frequency of how many leaves there are. And now I'm going to decrease the size. As you can see, it's really small. This is a range of le the sizes of leaves coming. But, you know, whatever. Um, I'm just going to improve the leaves a bit. Now, as you can see, you can make them wherever you want. What you could also do is, in geometry, you could make the shapes of the leaves different do whatever. Now, I want to create a wind zone because I got my leaves down. So create wind zone, that big button right there. One sec. Might be way Here we go. Wait, no. Yeah. And alright. I mean I did something really stupid here. I added a uh, texture that really doesn't matter. I mean, it really doesn't matter. It will not change anything. I wasted a lot of time. Just skip this. That button there that says create wind zone will make the leaves blow in the wind a bit. It'll look really realistic. I highly recommend you do that. It will not look... It will almost not look real if you don't create a wind zone. But, um, anyways, uh, as you can see, I, uh, created a texture, I got a grass texture, and 
I put it on the tree, you cannot put a texture on the leaves. For some reason, they will not let you do that. It is not, like, it is not allowed. But, you know, whatever. I had to learn it the hard way. Um. So, there's the, there's the, uh, wind zone, and whatever. Now, uh, there's a tree, it looks pretty normal, I'm gonna play a bit, and as you can see, there's a bit animation, uh, with the leaves as they glisten. Now, you'll see a bit green on them, and that's normal. It'll start out as these light green leaves, that's kind of translucent. Um, again, this is not the recommended, like, thing to use when wanting to make trees. You will have to, almost every time, just go to Unity, download a goddamn tree, and just be done with it. I mean, like... Most trees on Unity are free. A lot of packs are five bucks, but you know, why the hell do you care if you're in this, if you're into Unity that much? But let me stop the roast. So you could uh, change the color of the leaves. By this way, I'm gonna go for a little autumn by doing a little brownish. There you go. Did a little brownish. And, ooh, there we go. So, as you see, it's now going to be a little more brown. Kind of a little autumnish. I mean, I really don't care what kind of color you make it. The reason why I'm talking like this is it's really late and my walls are, like, really thin. So I don't want, like, people to get mad about you could change the tree texture, any texture you want, I really, it's like, you know, you could change it from rock, that looks kind of like wood, however, now I made my tree, my crappy tree, and I want to kind of cut off that passageway, that my character could just walk out into the land, so I'm gonna add a tree, and I'm going to use my tree I just made, add. And as you see, it's there. And I'm going to change the brush size and, you know, kind of get a lot of trees, and there you go. I just made a giant wall of trees that blocked out my survivor. So, you know, this is it. Uh, I just made a lot of trees here. I'm going to make a little, but yeah, this is pretty much it. So, uh, you know, however you feel, this is how you make a tree. Again, just go to Unity. It's probably way easier to set up an account. I can also change the amount of trees. I'll probably talk, talk more about. But this is the basics of how to make trees and how to make your design. You can walk through them. I'll tell you about that later on. But this is just part one. I hope this has been informative to you. And goodbye.